Goedemiddag, welkom. Quarantijn wijn in die tuin, samen die lijn. Nou, voor today, the wine in our glass is uh, something a little bit of a small production in South Africa. This is the standalone Gamay Noir made by Zander Greer at Valera. Now, Gamay Noir is not a popular grape in South Africa. To be quite honest, there is less than 10 hectares planted of this grape variety in the country. I wouldn't say it is not popular. I would just say that it's not, um, uh, people don't, people don't actually have vineyards of it. Yeah, that's also true. Um, in 2006, the only sad part is in 2006, uh, with the last survey then, we almost had, we just had, just below 20 hectares of, of vineyards. And now in 14 years, it's actually dropped by half. But it's also, it's an old vine, eh? Well, it says, yeah, there's no real new plantings unless the guys at Radford Dale, I think they said something that they might be trying to plant some more gamay because their gamay, they one of the other, the only other producer I know of currently that makes a gamay as well. And I think they might be trying to revive this grape variety. It's lost a lot of traction uh, due to Cinso, uh, which is um, also gives you a, a lighter style of red wine. Uh, with some great acid sometimes but but is that not also because Sinzo is an easier grape right yeah i believe gamay is can be quite prone to disease can be a little bit finicky as well but it just never really got that cult status like pinot noir did now gamay originally is from from uh, um, from france in the Beaujolais. there they also make it quite easy drinking the Beaujolais Nouveaux, which is a style of Gamay where they actually try and release the wine in the northern hemisphere in the year that was made. So they will pick the grapes in, in, in June, July and they'll have it on the shelves by November. So actually still in the same year. So that is, it's, it's a feat for anybody to do that in Absolutely. the northern hemisphere. Um, but yeah, unfortunately with that, the wine became quite popular as a nice, easy, fruity drink, but it was never really seen as very serious. Luckily, there is uh, winemakers all over the world now making some serious wines from this. And if Zander continues doing this, what he's doing now, I bet you he'll be one of them in South Africa as well. This is the 2019 vintage. 2018 was the first. And although Valera has had these vineyards since 1981, um, they haven't really made Gamay on its own until I think Zander joined. Now Zander is also the first of the fourth generation of the Greer family wow. to, to step in there, follow in, in Jeff Greer's uh, footsteps making wine at Valera. Um, and yeah, Valera has been making wine since the early 80s as yeah. well. Because to be quite honest, I think the family was linked to country fed chicken before that. Yes, before they actually yes, yes, yes. went they into were, they, wine they were poultry farmers and they decided wine let's go into wine wow. and um, now it's a fourth generation wine farm i mean that's that's impressive that is that, that is really neat. is impressive i don't know how much you've tasted of this wine but this one is beautifully and delicate it is it's it's got it a is. lovely soft entry there's some good fruit so it's dry it's quite dry which is which i like and, but, but it's very, it's very bold, okay? It is quite bold. Yeah, boldish. Um, it's upfront. It gives you a lot of fruit. So um, it's not overpowering, so I won't go that far. But yes, okay. the fruit is forward, um, but it's still delicate and elegant. If you look at the color, cameras aren't going to do anything. It's beautifully see-through. It's, yeah. you would expect this from Cinso and Pinot Noir as well. So immediately, yeah. Once you look at it in the glass, it's almost very easy to but the, confuse. The aftertaste is like a, it's like an oregano taste, hey? Yeah, but it's that fresh oregano, like what we have in the garden here. Yes. It's not that dried oregano you have in the Robertson little thingies, yes, or yes, once yes. it's once yes. it's cooked, it has that little yes. bit of greeniness to it, but without making the wine green. Which means it would be a a, a winning pairing for food, right? Just some lamb chops, and we. We're lighting the Weber a bit later with some lamb chops on there, and I think that'll be a fantastic. <laughs> <We are> indeed. <laughs> now, Zander says he only made for 2019, I think, about 1,200 liters of this wine. It was basically roughly about two or three barrels. Um, use older French oak, fourth and fifth fill. So, once again, not to give too much flavor of the oak to the wine. The wine, as we said, is delicate, it's got beautiful fruit. 
which w w the reason why they did that is because they wanted it to be um, about a site specific wine okay they were like okay they don't want to use they don't want, like the oak to overpower the wine they want it to be what the grape actually is and sitting with a vineyard that's now almost 40 years old sometimes you just want to show a little bit of respect and let the old man shine and absolutely that's absolutely now zander says it's an interesting uh, method he uses when making the wine he uses about 30 30 percent whole bunch fermentation but he splits it up in two and actually putting it at the bottom and at the top and with very very gentle pressing so this was hand harvested um, it does some uh, manual punch downs as well, but very, very delicate, not to extract too much. But what, what, I, what I found the interesting about the process is that it creates a sandwich, right? So you have what you call the cap, is that right? Yeah. On, <clears throat> on the top and, then you, and also on the bottom. And basically the wine is sandwiched between the caps yeah. and yeah. And then he slowly, 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 slowly. I mean, it's a beautiful process. And the process is really to bring out the best in this particular and, and just, grape variety. Yeah, maybe give the wine a little bit more fleshiness in the mid palate. Um, yes. Otherwise, it can be gamay, it can be quite tutti fruity. And you want something just to make it a little bit yes. more serious. And I think he does that yes. quite well. Yes. The wine, as we said, is older French oak barrel, spends about 10 months in that, and then he keeps it in bottle for another six before finally releasing it. And um, I'm really already looking forward to the next vintage of this, because this is going to be fantastic for those lamb chops tonight. Yes, yeah, beautiful. So there's a few people we'd like to thank. First of all, Paul Creer, regional sales manager from Valero, for actually contacting us and asking us to do this video. Yes. Zander for all the information on the phone. We are definitely coming to see you at the vineyard soon. I have to drive past it every day and I still don't stop because I'm terrible. Life. <laughs> <clears throat> Work. So we would really like to come <laughs> see you and I just get the people out there. Since we are allowed to go tastings at farm, go out, go visit these places. Yes, yes. And go try the wine. This, so is, this is definitely a treasure. This is definitely a treasure. So guys, from us here in Quarantine Vein, stay safe, enjoy the wine. Cheers. Cheers.